Thank you. As you possibly some of you have heard, the pineapple story took place in the country of New Guinea, it used to be Dutch New Guinea, uh, Irian Jaya now, part of Indonesia. Right here in these swamplands is where we had planted these pineapples. Uh, I tried to grow everything there, but nothing would grow. The, the uh, ground, the sandy soil was so bad. And so I finally tried pineapples because I didn't know what else to try. God had put me there, uh, my wife and I, among people who were just chronic thieves. They stole everything. One day, uh, one lady stood there and she had her necklace on. On the bottom of her necklace hung our only can opener. And we were so glad to get that thing back. You know, we were hacking cans open with machetes and it was a mess. My wife being a nurse, she sterilized that thing good and we got it back. One day she said to me, Otto, I can't find the diaper pins to keep the diapers on the, on the babies and the large slight pins. And one day we, there stood a group of women and on their ears hung uh, our diaper pins and we were so glad to get them back because you know what else do you do the other day I heard of a, a rock group here in America which used safety pins on their ears so I guess we're catching up with the jungle people here in America <laughs> uh, and I, I suppose in music some other areas we're already ahead of them uh, if that's possible but you know, they stole everything and God sent me among those people, probably the greatest thieves on earth, to teach me the lesson that he wanted me to get, the lesson of Luke 14, 33, where it says, whosoever he be of you that forsakes not all that he has, he cannot be my disciple. Now I'm Dutch by birth, I was born in Holland, and us Dutch people hang on awfully tight to things we have. Uh, we just, that's the way, it isn't my fault really, my father was that way, I got it from him. And, uh, and then I found out that he got it from my grandfather, so it really isn't his fault neither. But you know, they call us stingy. I, I you know, the word in, in, in their culture here was long-nosed, the word for stingy, the long-nosed white man they called me. And uh, a stingy missionary and I was fighting for all that I had. I mean, I was taught to, you know, uh, to fight back. I fought for everything, like they, they stole my uh, shirt. One guy, he's, uh, he's trying to sell me a fish, he had my shirt on. You'd think the guy would wear it somewhere else. I said, you know, nobody else is wearing any shirts around there. And uh, I said, hey man, give me your shirt back first and then I'll trade with you. Uh, they, they took everything. One time one guy came staggering and he couldn't see straight and, and then I realized that he's got my wife's subscription sunglasses on. Uh, she hadn't missed him yet. Oh, it was crazy. He's staggering in like this. He doesn't know how to walk. He has no clothing, just glasses. And, and he's staggering in and, and I took them off his nose. I said, now you'll be able to walk home. And uh, you know, oh, they took everything. I'd go to the village with my box. I had a cardboard box. And when I went to visit them and uh, to learn language and so on, and I just gathered up the stuff I found in their homes, you know, got it all back. They called me the missionary with the box. I didn't like that, but I, I'd fill the whole thing up. I found stuff I hadn't missed yet. They'd say, <laughs> I, 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 one day I sat looking at this flashlight and I saw, that's just like the one I got. Amazing that these people would have one like that. <laughs> then I went, went home and found that they'd just gotten it the day before. They were chronic thieves. They'd get my wife's attention at the front door and knock, and then they'd clean off the wash line at the back. There was no way, we, there were so many of them, just the two of us, and we were fussing with them. And they said, Tuan, you're always angry. I said, hey, I was never angry until I met you people. Uh, <laughs> this is true. Anger had never really been my problem. Uh, I'd, I'd had other problems, but anger was never my problem until I met them. Uh, I said to them, hey, I could be a real good missionary. It wasn't for you people, you know. <laughs> uh, you know, well, I heard a pastor say that here at home too. So you must, you know, I could be a good preacher, pastor if it wasn't for my people. Uh, a teenager told me once I could pass my grades if it wasn't for my teacher. Uh, and then I suppose the man that said uh, I could be a good husband if it wasn't for my wife. Uh, so you have natives around you too. So really, uh, I, I think you'll, you'll be able to understand my story. Uh, but they stole all my pineapples and I didn't know what to do. I closed the clinic. I said, no more clinic. 
They said, you're going to eat all the pills yourself. I said, no. I said, but if you, uh, if uh, you're going to have to make a choice, you either get pineapples or you get pills. If you keep stealing them, you won't get pills. Make a choice. And uh, they kept right on stealing. They were chronic. They couldn't stop stealing. And so they, uh, I closed the clinic and they all went off to their, well, no, they, they sat on my front porch with their headaches, you know, rubbing their two on, give me some pills. And uh, I said, hey, don't sit here hurting. Go sit on your own front porch, hurt there. That's where you eat the pineapples. That's where your head is going to hurt. <laughs> and uh, oh, they, they, they weren't happy with me. But by the weekend, they let their babies die. Can you believe it? Blamed us that stingy white men, the long-nosed white man, won't give us any medicine. And uh, our, this grieved our hearts, of course, and we quick opened the clinic again and thought, well, let's forget about the pineapples. Let them have it. I have the pineapples. We'll, we'll, we'll live, you know, and, and save their lives. And so we uh, endeavored to do this. And two or three weeks come by, went by, and it was time to weed the garden again. They said, Tuan, your garden needs weed. Let me weed it all, you know. And I said, hey, we, if you're going to eat all the pineapples, weed it yourself.